for another race weekend, but this one is definitely not prepared at all. I was not even meant to be racing this weekend. We made the decision after Bishop's Court that we were going to skip the next round of Mondeo, even though it was anti-clockwise. It's the first time they ran the track anti-clockwise in 20 years. But being in the middle of my even cert, we decided it was best off just to forget about it, come back another day. Then last week, I seen the sign table come out, and the Fiesta only race on Saturday. Got a bit of a brain thinking there. So we made the decision, we'll see how the first week of the exams go. It has been tough, but we have got through it. It's now the Friday evening and we're deciding to go racing. So, last minute as always, that's a great start to things. But, so we've missed all the testing today. I have had a run around the track last year. I did about 10 laps in the South Wayne in a standard road car, not even a Fiesta. So, I know just right roughly where we're going and what we're doing. But, everyone who tested today is going to have a bit better advantage than me tomorrow. Uh, to be honest, we're just going to go out and see what happens. I just go out and qualify and take it as it is. And the aim would be to get a top six in qualifying anyway. I mean, if we can stay around the top six, we can maybe snag a pole for the second race and then block like hell for the second race. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. As you can see, I probably should be looking at my maths book. Yeah, that's going to go well. But uh, racing only one day is kind of suiting me better. Uh, we've had a very up and down season. The first round, we had a lot of engine problems, gearbox problems. And we came through with three top sixes. Somehow, don't even know how. We went to Bishop's Court for the second round and we were flying. We qualified on the front row. We got swamped on the runs of the first corner in the first race. We were back in seventh. Put my head down, charged through the whole pack, got up, broke the lap record, smashed it. The old lap record by two and a half seconds and was the only person to get into the 29s all weekend. We had the new lap record for Bishop's Court, which is very proud of. However, ended up getting punted off in the last lap and got dropped back to third and in the second race it was even worse got trying to avoid accidents in the first lap we ended up back in tenth and i just missed out on the podium in the last lap so i have shown i have the pace thrown at the front we just had either no luck or bad luck or i don't even know what the story is but i mean tomorrow we have the famous leaving surf weather so it's about 23 degrees but ideally if the mother of all thunderstorms would arrive tomorrow that would suit me better as I, the one right race we did, even with a downward power engine, I had the fastest lap, and I was coming back through traffic and all, so, yeah, rain would help me, but at the end of the day, I am fairly good at learning new tracks, quick enough, I know the car, I know which way the track goes, so it's just a matter of seeing what happens. As for any targets, we've said just get top six, hopefully, we'll take it session by session, qualifying is just going to be more of a learning experience, and see if we can bag a lap at the end. And then we'll see where we go from the first race. Just staying out of trouble is the main aim this weekend. I mean, I've tried my hardest to uh, race this year. And I've got myself caught in trouble where it hasn't necessarily been my fault. But I've ended up getting the brunt of it. So we'll see what happens. And we'll try to keep it clean. Hopefully tomorrow will go well. <laughs>
qualifying and race one all within the space of an hour. Qualifying was a bit tricky, I had to try and learn the track and set a quick half time, but the time I had sort of got a grip to the track, the tyres had gone off, the track got slower, so I ended up qualifying sixth. I was promoted pro the fifth post qualifying due to car fail and uh, weight checks. The first race, the guy in front of me jumped start and then just saw away as I got boxing on the inside, dropped back to tent. Same old story this year, wrong place, wrong time again, another fight back of a race. Got myself back into the all important sixth position, which means it gives me pole position for race two. I'm going to have to try and defend. I don't know whether I can hold them all off. I, to be honest, I'm doubt it, but if I can get a podium out of this weekend, like with no tests at all, the heat in the car is getting a bit of a problem. It's 22 or 23 degrees here, so when you're in your fireproof suit, and you're underwear and a helmet on, it gets warm. So it's a very, very sweaty race, even though it's only 15 minutes long. So we'll give it a bash for race two and see what happens. The track is very nice. It's very different, though. It's very tight. And te it's a bit more tight, and it's a lot more easy for accidents to happen. It was almost a couple of Miyagi moments for me, but we survived take six, so all in all, we're not, I'm very happy with the progress we've made since qualifying, and to be honest, just need to give it another bash and race two, half pole position, and see what we can do from there. racing here in Monello Park. The second race went really well for me. I got a great start off whole position. Got, got into the lead in the first half, pulled a massive gap to everybody. Unfortunately, Owen Purcell caught me and I just couldn't hold him back. But still, we'll take second place any day of the week after the season we've had so far. Uh, massive thanks to all my sponsors that got me here. Uh, JH Auto Body, Dunshock Motor Company, Tom Brigade, Mr Gearbox, Mr Kutch, and to my dad of Kelly Motorsport for preparing a fantastic car today. The car was an absolute joy to drive. Next round is in a month's time, we have a triple header here again, so hopefully we know exams and a little bit less stress, we should be prepared for that one. So until next time.